morning. I'm knocked out entirely. Trixie Martin, madcap and poet of the upper fourth. I say, you're in your book. I mean, girl. <laughs> yes. Daisy Merida. Daisy Merida? That's right. I'm to be in upper fourth. Oh, Gimelotte! That's my form! Perhaps we can have desks next to one another. One can have an uncommonly good time at Grainswood. So long as one doesn't upset the mistresses or praise too much. I said, are you fond of setting up stunts? I should say, I've got four brawlers and we constantly play tricks on each other. Can you swim? A little. Capital, you'll soon improve. But if the weather's fine enough, we all go for an early morning dip in the sea. There's an absolutely scrummy beach down by the bottom of the cliffs with a secret path leading down to it known only to ourselves. How perfectly ripping. That's Claire Bremont over there. Oh, I met her. How uncommonly lucky. Claire's Grangewood's sports captain and head girl. She's a first-rate tennis and hockey player, as well as having a brain. We all adore her. Her people, well, her mother, actually own Grangewood. I say. And then, about 20 years ago, they started losing money after old Sir Digby Beaumont died. There is talks that the family fortunes could be saved. If only the Beaumont treasure could be found. Treasure! Oh, yes! Oh, I've hunted for hours, looking for secret trap doors and knocking on walls and looking for clues. So have scores of other girls. Nothing's ever been found. I say, Trixie, let's form a secret society! A secret society? Yes! Just like you do in schools and books. Oh, I know, a treasure hunting society. Its object is to seek out the hidden treasure of Grangewood and rescue the Beaumont from penury. We could ask some of the others if they like to become members too. <laughs> they won't. Everyone stopped believing the treasure even exists. As a rule, one ceases to believe in it, but by the time one reaches the lower third, rather like fairies and, and Father Christmas. No, let it just be the two of us. And let's call ourselves, oh, I know, the Dark Horse. Secret Society. Yes! And the horseshoe can be our secret symbol when we have to pass each other notes. Oh, yes! Oh, and, 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 we'll need a password. Oh, a yes. motto! Um. Oh! No. Oh, yes! No. Oh, I've got it! Donc, il y a de l'espoir. Yes! Sorry, no idea what that means. I know French. Therefore, there is hope. Topping Trixie, therefore there is hope. Oh! There goes spell for afternoon games. Hockey for the fourth. I expect I shall be horribly beaten. I've never played hockey before. Hockey's a team game. You play it as a team and win or lose as one. Remember that. I will. Come on. Trixie, we need ideas. How about we go to the library and see if we can find any book on other treasure seekers, or a book on codes, or even a biography of Sir David Beaumont. Shh. Yes, but we're gonna have to go down the back stairs. There's chance of the matron or any of the maids seeing us that way. Why is the library normally out of bounds? Well, of course. Shh. Well, of course, but Claire never said we couldn't go to the library, did she? Daisy, quick, someone's coming, hide down here! near thing. I say, why do you think he was writing such volumes on ancestral portraits? I can't say for certain, but I've got a pretty good idea. Daisy, you don't suppose? That's the point, Trixie, old chum, I do. Oh, well, well, well. How much do you think he knows that, that we don't? Oh, oh. 
we should tell Claire. Or Miss Gibson. No, Trixie, we must sell this ourselves. I put you on honour not to divulge a single word to anyone from now on. Not even to Claire or Miss Gibson. Until we find the treasure. Fine, as long as we are sellable. Even if it means missing the next hockey knockout. Oh, Trixie, you're a trump. Now, let's look around. out from the rest of the painting. Why does she need a painter and a writer festival? Now come on, there's so many books it's frightfully difficult to know where to look. <sighs>